this is what Luke 21 verse 20 to 28 have to say about what's happening in Jerusalem. It says, When you notice Jerusalem being encircled by armies, it is a sign that destruction is imminent. When this occurs, everyone living in Judea should run to the mountains for safety. If you're in the city, leave immediately, and if you're outside the city, do not try to get in. These will be tough times, a time when God's anger will be unleashed on Jerusalem. It will be especially hard for pregnant women and those nursing infants because there will be a great persecution and anger directed at this nation. Many will be killed and others will be taken as prisoners to different countries. Jerusalem will be oppressed by foreign nations until the days of world empires come to an end. You should also anticipate witnessing astonishing and bewilding events in the sky, with the sun, the moon, and the stars. The raging sea will bring distress and chaos to many nations. Earthquakes will strike, causing panic and destruction. The things people see happening on hurt will fill them with a sense of impending disaster and even the powers of the heavenly realm will be shaken. But finally, when you witness the Son of Man's arrival, it will be a moment of great celebration. He will come surrounded by a cloud displaying incredible power and performing miracles. His presence will radiate with splendor and he will be adorned with immense glory and praise. This will be the time of your incredible transformation. You're concerned and worried about what's happening around you. There's only one place to be safe, and that is in the arms of Jesus Christ. So, I'm giving you the opportunity to be safe today. The grace that God extended to you. Say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free. Jesus, thank you that you died for me. I believe that you risen from the dead and that you'll be coming back again for me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me a passion for the lost, a hunger for the things of God, and the holy boldness to tell others about you. Thank you that what whatsoever call upon your name is saved. And Jesus, I call upon your name now, I am saved. I am born again. I am forgiven. And I'm on my way to heaven, because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen.